the Dream Hotel. Suck of it, Soy 15 here in Bangkok. Hello you, I'm Big Fat Bestie and uh, good morning. It's nice and early in the morning and uh, welcome to Reviews Day Tuesday and today's review uh, comes from Bangkok Soy 15 and we're, uh, we are reviewing the Dream Hotel. It's a two building hotel. Uh, I'm in building number two, that's where my room is, but this is building number one where we're gonna head up to breakfast and check out what the spread is like at the Dream. So we're gonna head into uh, the reception area here at the Dream Hotel. Good morning, Saudi Cup. Welcome to Dream Cup. How are you, sir? Sabai Di Mai. Sabai Di Cup. Sabai Di Cup. Sabai Di Cup as well. How are you doing? Sabai Di Cup. I slept good. I slept the best comfortable. Bed very comfortable. I slept like a dream. Your dream will come to yeah. here. Here is uh, part of the reception area where we've got lots of uh, seating and so on and so forth. And we've got birds. It's quite jazzy in here. But let's go up the stairs, past the fountains, and let's go uh, meet the zoo. So the Dream uh, Hotel buildings are quite low rise. But this is great. This feels like I'm kind of on a cruise ship, going up the steps to see what awaits us up here. Well, I can tell you what awaits us up here is the uh, breakfast room and also the uh, bar area uh, where they have various happy hours. They've got these big little things here. Uh, the boards and the boards tell us what's going on in their new a la carte menu. And if you want to uh, go to the tango night, which is tonight, but we're checking out today, so we're not gonna be uh, going to tango. Tiger. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Four to one. Four to one. Yeah. How many persons? Song. So this is where we're going to eat breakfast, and uh, once we've got ourselves settled down, we'll show you the spread. But what happens at breakfast time here at the Dream is they get the uh, they get the coffee for you. I'll have a coffee, please. Half yeah. cup. So let's go and check out the uh, breakfast selection uh, here at the Dream Hotel. Uh, first of all is the Thai breakfast selection. And the Thai breakfast selection, you have rice, uh, chicken and rice, a fried chicken, chicken wings, a board rice with pork spare ribs. I've got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed by the uh, selection here. Uh, in the middle, uh, this is very little else except the, uh, except the fruit salad. And if you're into fruit, and if you like melon, and grapes, and pineapple, uh, you're in the right place. Uh, place. You've got your fruit juices here, which include pineapple juice, orange juice, apple juice, and your cold water. Uh, here you've got uh, chips, bacon, which uh, does need replacing there. So good news if you like the American uh, crispy bacon, that is here, and uh, your chicken sausage is not good news if you like proper English breakfast sausages, because it's the uh, kind of like Frankfurter things again. But look at this, if you're a bacon fan, you're absolutely in luck, because they're replacing the bacon right now. Check it out. Uh, this is the uh, seafood noodle soup section and they will mix it up for you if you want some seafood noodle soup. Uh, they will make it for you as you wait. <laughs> if you're a fan of 7-Elevens, you've got your grilled ham and cheese sandwich right there. Um, that looks to me like some kind of beef dish but it's not labelled so. Looks like some kind of, uh, I think that's a, uh, a beef stir fry. 
Oh, what else we got here? Oh, we've got kind of like mini omelettes in this one, uh, baked beans down here in this one. More bacon, but the slightly less crispy variety in this one. And your vegetarian section is right here, which is Tom Yum fried rice. Veg fried noodles and a potato curry, which is steamed the fuck out of my lens. You got your egg station here. You can have a fried egg. That can mix you up a, an omelette, boiled egg, scrambled egg there as well. Cereal section uh, right here. And your continental stuff right here. You've got your cheeses, mozzarella, cheddar, and your cured meats. Some chicken and some salami. Getting hungry now. Croissants, waffles, maple syrup, chocolate sauce, and honey. You can make your toast here. And these uh, this is your pastry section, your muffins. Which is all gluten free and all good stuff too. So that is pretty much it. That is our breakfast selection here at the Dream Hotel. And so here we are at uh, the Dream 2, the uh, second tower, the second building. Now uh, this is where I'm staying. And again, it's got a, uh, a nice little reception area with lots of little places to sit. And the lifts, and it's this building where the pool is. Good morning. How are you? Excellent. Check out day. Ooh. Uh, they do have a uh, currency exchange here, but as you can see, the rates are hotel rates rather than uh, competitive ones. So the lifts are operated by your by your room key. So you stick your key in, and we're going to go up to the tenth floor first. So I'll give you a show around the. Uh, Quick look around the gym. Uh, whilst we're in the lift, I can tell you uh, the price on a Goda uh, for this hotel is about 60 British pounds per night, but uh, annoyingly, a Goda UK uh, don't show the taxes. So by the time you get to check out with the uh, plus 10% and the plus 7%, uh, it costs pretty much bang on 70 pounds a night. We stayed for three nights and it came to about 208 pounds. So just short of a uh, of 70 quid a night. Obviously I'm staying with Besties Bestie, so it worked out at 35 pounds a night each. Uh, here's the gym, which smells of peppermint. And you've got your usual Jimmy stuff here. If they clean the windows, then you could get a nice view of the trendy apartments, which is this lot here. And this rather funky building there, which looks uh, quite European. And there, as you can see, the Bangkok smog. Uh, air pollution is really, really bad here, January uh, 2019 in Bangkok. So that's the gym, free weights, uh, benches, a ski trainer, exercise bike, and a treadmill. You've got lockers there as well. And let's uh, go upstairs. Again, so I can show you the pool area. See if I can grab this lift while it's still here. And I can. Oh, corridors, by the way, are really nice too. And we will head up to the top floor, which is the uh, pool area and the pool bar. Surf and turf only. 490 baht plus taxes. 10% uh, service charge and 7% government tax. And this is the pool area. You step straight out of the lift into the pool. And over here, around the corner, is where you've got your shower. And this is a nice touch, actually, over there. They provide you uh, with shampoos and shower gels and conditioner in the uh, pool area shower. So down here you've got your jacuzzi bit and over here you've got your pool area I have to show you the uh, pool bar as well because when I got here on my first day um, I treated myself and Bestie's Bestie uh, to a strawberry smoothie which was absolutely amazing so all your towels are here once you're done with your towels you shove it in the towel bin three two one dusty bin
So at the end of the corridor area, you've got your toilets here and uh, your lockers. The pool area itself around the lounges is non-smoking, but just here in the uh, pool area, you can see there are ashtrays set out for you. So this is the smoking area, and if, on the off chance, it rains, you've got some uh, covered tables here in the bar area, and this is where they have the fully stocked bar, including smoothies. Hello, smoothie lady. How are you? Good morning. And that's it then. So that is the uh, pool area here at the Dream Hotel, Sukhavit Soy 15, Bangkok, Thailand. Now, let's head downstairs and give you a tour of the room. Dream Hotel. I'm loving the numbers here, by the way. This is the uh, four, four floor four. It's a non-smoking floor. And the numbers of the room, ours is uh, 41. Pretty jazzy there with the... Uh, with the doorbell. Entering the room then, you've got your bathroom on the right. And it's spacious. It is uh, quite a big room. Uh, right here we have the beds. Obviously uh, there's me and Bestie's Bestie. Uh, we have a twin room here uh, and it is checkout time as I said so uh, the beds are messy but they are damned comfortable. The voice from beyond, Bestie's Bestie. How comfortable are the beds? Very comfortable. Very comfortable indeed. They are very comfortable indeed, but did I manage to sleep very well in them? No, you didn't. No, I am the no sleep sheep. Uh, on the uh, wall, you got some artwork, you got some girl, she looks like she's had a really good night's sleep. And you got these guys here on the Titanic, they had a pretty good night's sleep and then died. So uh, that was their final night's sleep. Air conditioning uh, comes out of here and out of here. Uh, you've got the panels uh, for the aircon on the wall just here. Uh, the phone is right here, you can order room service. Uh, there is a uh, full room service menu in, well here actually, your in-room dining. You get your little uh, TV channel guide. So if you're wondering what TV channels you get here at the Dream, it's these, pause to continue, should you wish. Over here you have your dressing table. On the dressing table, um, Again, you've got these little see-through uh, drawer things. Uh, you've got another telephone port here. And just anything uh, that you would really expect. The view is of that rather bizarre house. There it is. If anybody knows uh, what goes on in that house, uh, feel free to let me know. The TV is a 40 inch uh, flat screen affair. Uh, it's an Android system actually, and it's got uh, not that many channels, but plenty of them uh, are in English. You've got a smattering of uh, news channels. Also, you have the uh, sports and movie channels and decent ones as well. So we're talking Fox Sports and Be In Sports and uh, Fox Movie Channel, True Movies as well. And here you have the uh, fridge and mini bar, and they've been a little bit cunning, these guys at the Dream Hotel, because they've tagged everything. So you can't uh, just go and replace it from the 7-Eleven because they've got their uh, little Dream Hotel uh, tags on them. So uh, if you do want to use the mini bar, be aware that you'll have to pay the prices on the mini bar. In terms of location, uh, it's about 400 meters down Soy 15. Uh, it's approximately eight minute walk to the BTS. It's approximately an eight minute walk to uh, Terminal 21 and a 10 minute walk to Soy Cowboy. Uh, the Dream Hotel's bathroom, uh, sorry for the uh, little amount of mess here because it is checkout time. Uh, it comes with its own toiletries. Uh, it's got a shower with uh, the decent water pressure that you'd expect. You've got a sink, you get two complimentary uh, bottles of uh, crystal uh, water each day. And of course, as always, you have your uh, toilet and your arse wand. If you look in the wardrobe here, that's where you'll find uh, the large safe, large enough to uh, stick your laptop in it. You've got some uh, drawer storage area here, your complimentary slippers, dressing gown, and should you need extra pillows, you'll find them up on the top of the wardrobe. Hope you've enjoyed uh, our little room tour 
of the Dream Hotel, some of it's Soy 15 in Bangkok. As I said, the price around about £70, including uh, taxes and everything. Uh, do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. I think, yes, it's cheaper, uh, but if there's two of you staying, uh, then why not splurge a little bit? 70 quid is not bad value uh, for the capital, and uh, the amenities are pretty good, and the breakfast is fantastic. So then, thank you very much for watching uh, this little 10 minute vlog, uh, my review, review stay Tuesday, of the Dream Hotel here in Bangkok. If you found it interesting or useful, uh, why not give it a like, a little bit of a thumbs up. If you want to uh, continue on my journey uh, with me on my mega trip, uh, why not subscribe and smash that bell icon. Until the next one, which will be on Thai Day Friday, take care, vlog off.